What's up guys, welcome back to Carbo K and we are up to the penultimate box of the case of Surging Sparks. This case has been a bit of a topsy-turvy up and down for me right now because it's been good, then it goes and it goes and it's kind of like, it feels like I've opened two cases with the amount of doubles and triples we've run into already. Um, so compared to other sets, like I mentioned in the previous video, haven't been as lucky in terms of my need for master set spread um i've been hitting into a lot of the things i have already so i've wasted like a lot of spots or luck factor for spots for like irs and all that kind of stuff so like the latios is still waddling around and i mean if you look through it's like some of my japanese stuff it's like there's serial edge there's kecleon there's yeah there's 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 a lot of stuff that's there so like this is plus box there's three possible irs in here possibly Unless the spot's taken up by an SIR. I don't mind. Um, yeah, it would be nice if this box advances the set quite a lot. Like, I don't expect it to advance the set in terms of, like, the Terra EXs, so those are kind of a waste. The base EXs, I highly doubt there's another thing that I'm missing, because we did run into, like, the one and only Killer Watch rule that I, that I needed, that I didn't even know that was... You know, let's just, just have a like cheeky gander at this. Durant we've got. Skelly. Serial Edge we have. Scovillain we have. Pikachu we have. Palasan. Did we get Palasan? Surely we did. But I think we only got one of that as well. Tatsugiri we got. Executor we got. Hydragon we finally got as well. Flygon we've only got one of as well. Jeez. Okay. Bit bit scarce on some of them. Um yeah, I don't think we're missing any now, but we've only got like one of them. Now that I've said I've just kind of wished it in. We're gonna get like another killer watch, we're gonna get another hydragon, we're gonna get I'd rather get more Pikachu's and Sylveons or something, you know what I mean? So that being said, moving straight on into this final box. <gasps> Here we go. Chin Pao. Okay. Nothing to write home about on the first packet on the right hand side. Now, the good thing is, as these days roll on, we are getting closer to the new year. Um, thankfully, there's no sets coming out for the English side of collecting in December. Um, if you do collect Japanese. Oh, Flapple! I don't have him! Yes! Yes, we wished it to existence! That's a good sign. That's a good sign. We don't have him. Yes, we've done it. We're one for one so far. Awesome. Um, if you are a Japanese collector, like a Japanese um, card collector, unfortunately for you, Evolutions comes out in December the 7th or something. I can't remember exactly when, but yeah, you guys are probably going to... I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure that a lot of English collectors only would probably still buy into the... Um, the Japanese version of the Prismatic. Um, I mean, if the prices are good, then you know I might actually even pick up one or two boxes myself in a lead up to the English version. Um, Black Urim base. Yeah, no, we've got one of this guy. We've got one. Oh, Jesus, they're very, very streaky in terms of like the base EXs, right? Jeez. Um, yeah, because I don't mind opening Japanese, it's just I think when I first started with Scarlet Violet, I didn't like it too much, because like, oh, we've, we've gone down to like, having this many cards in a packet, down to having like three. And I didn't really understand the, rar the rarity of um, Japanese. Turns out, obviously, it's a lot more easier to master set Japanese, because they don't have like, the English has a non-holo, and then a reverse holo for each kind of card, or a holo and a reverse holo. Like, English does. There's just like, no, there's one of this, there's one of this, there's one of this, and the last one here is the holo. So I didn't really understand that back then. So I was like, nah, I don't want to open Japanese. But then opening that surging super electric breaker uh, box, that was pretty fun. And prior to that, the only Japanese pack that I opened in recent memory to that was the single 151 pack that was thrown at me at a trading card show. And then I pulled a Squirtle and a Gold Psychic Energy out of it, so I was like, 
<laughs> Value. <laughs> I didn't even buy that packet. Cragono, Fluoride, and Pythagoras. We okay now all of a sudden this right hand side that was delivering the past few times is relatively quiet so far. Let's see how we go here, Orithor. I mean it's an SIR. It's probably not Damn. <laughs> It's still an SIR, so the good thing is that completely averages out the boxes um, in terms of we've definitely hit four SIRs now, like SIR secrets in combined in comparison. Now I've got one in Japanese and English now. I can I can do what we did last time with the Fanti. Uh, where are you? Here you are. There you are. Look, sort of, sort of prepared. Yeah, we somehow have both. That's kind of cool. Right? That's kind of cool. And now you can kind of see the difference between, I don't know if you can see it, difference between Japanese and English like the the papers on the wall like a little bit more defined on the Japanese one for sure look at that and then you look at the English one it's not so much the Japanese ones are it's very defined in terms of the thing like you can kind of tell like the the Japanese one's a lot more darker too because it's just got so much more going on yeah you can see it so that's cool I mean I'll take it either way I, it feels a lot better than going, you know, opening up one case of that Twilight and then getting one hit and be like, "Does it feel bad?" So that means so far we've gotten an Archiludon. Oh wow, very next nice packet. Um, we've got an Archiludon for the Pokemon. We've got Clement's Quick Wit for a trainer. We've got Leisure's Appeal for a trainer. And then we've got Gravity Mountain for the gold. So, not a terrible spread, but we've got Leisure's Appeal, which is a big one. So, which is a big one. Now the rest is in my friend's hand. <laughs> the, old, the old Lucky Fingers McGee. That being said though, this could be a double banger box. But I don't... I can't really naysay it. But the chance of getting like two boxes, like a box or a case that has two boxes in there that have two hits in it. You would have definitely had to have like been lucky to pick out the case of the guy that just did not want to go to work that day. <laughs> he just didn't want to be there and he was just throwing stuff left, right and center. And you got lucky from his unwillingness to be at work. <laughs> That's just how I see it. And also, I haven't really run into many, like, quality issues on my end. Like, people complain about quality issue a lot. Like, I'm not with this set so much, but at the PR, also, Lucky Fingers McGee goes and opens up a thing. I think it's Drasna. Yeah, he pulls open a full, a full art Drasna. It is so shifted to the right that you can see that the positioning dot in the top left corner. You know, that little... If you if you're an Eric collector and you know those kind of things and you know what I'm talking about, like you, it was like that dot was in clear view. You was like, what the heck is that card? Like, but other than that, like upon opening, like right now, like I haven't really, I haven't seen much issues with the quality control. And this box is kind of half scaring me right now in terms of like what it's going to give out because we are got three more packets including this one on the right hand side and there's only four hits but i'm complaining when we've already hit an sir oh third by brava so we've wasted an ir slot unfortunately oops dropped a whole bunch of cards unfortunately so by brava goes into the soft sleeve because we really got it all right so we've got five hits on the right hand side oh this would be great if this was a double hit box It'd be great be amazing. Okay, Cleon. Terra Orb. Let's go the lane. Got him already. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm pretty sure we got all the base EXs now, thankfully. Um, it's actually really surprising that just like some of them are so elusive. Well, I mean, 
you're opening up the case, you're getting around four per box. I think there's an ace spec. Please be a blender. Please be a blender. Oh, we don't have this one. Nice. Okay, that's good. We don't have a miracle. Put up to two supporter cards from your discard pile into your hand. Oof. That's really good. That's... That's really good. That's amazing. And I'm out of blue sleeves. Time to open up a new packet. There we go. Where are you? There you are. In we go. So yeah, Miracle headset. Sweet. So we're adding that ace spec to the actual master set list. So all of a sudden, one pack remaining and we have seven hits from the right hand side. Just all the hits just rolled out because it's all clumped in the back left, the back right corner. It's a bit humorous. It's a little bit humorous. Flex swap, Arvesta, and Gastric. Okay. Alright, so starting on the left hand side. I'm hoping that the last IR we hit in here is like the Latios. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Like, I really want that one. I don't want to be shelling out for that one. I mean, I got all these um, these boxes from Mystical. I might have to pay my friend Jen a visit. Might have to. I might have to pay her a visit. Be like, hey, I want to have another go. Time for another go. But Coco, Alkia, nothing else there. All right, I think this is the third pack in, I believe. I've got a lot of mess to clean up. <laughs> this is becoming a slipping hazard. It's like Mario Kart track right now. Banana peels everywhere in the form of Pokemon packet sleeves. Alright, no hits so far. This one should be the hit. And I just dropped a bunch of cards on the floor again. I'm very good at doing that right now. Alright, come on. Hit. Hit. There we go. Palisad. Okay, now if we didn't have it before, we have it now. But I'm very certain that we already have it. So that's our second one. I'm very certain that we got it. These EXs are scarce. It's insane. Like some of them are just like... It's like the 151 Metapod. <laughs> the 151 Reverse Hollow Metapod. The hilarity of seeing that being sold for like 20, 20 bucks, 25 bucks at one stage was funny. Nastic. Draplop and a Togekiss. Nothing else in that one. Uh, haven't seen our full art trainer yet, so that's coming along at some point. Be good to get a Drayton. Or Leisure's Appeal, actually. Leisure's Appeal would be better. And Jasmine's Gaze. So I think I'm about to not have as much luck as I thought I did in this box. Two, three, four. My fingies starting to hurt too. <laughs> Has to get. Oh, we don't have him. Nice. That's a good one to get. That's good. Dude. We take that straight into the sleeve. You go, and we'll never leave for about fifty years. <laughs> there we go. All right, so to nine hits in total, with not many packs in retrospect remaining. Feel like, feel like there's gonna be two packs in a row on this side that have hits, and it's feeling like a a low twelve hit box this one, unless the next A spec um, packet has two hits in it. Did we do that again? <laughs> Did we just do that again? We just wished into existence a double, double box in the same case. And it's the Pikachu. That is sick. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? At the end of the day, this was a good case. This was a good case. That's a nice case. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I reckon the Pikachu one out of all of them, like out of all the gold cards, it's definitely going to be the priciest. 
It's like pulling the uh, buddy buddy poffin or the earthen vessel or whatever from the past period sets. Like this is the big one. This is this is the big one. And <sighs> unfortunately, we didn't get the Pikachu SIR yet. Now I'm kind of convinced to go and like you know I said it. Mystical magic has provided yet again. But now it's time to knock on Jen's door and be like, hey, hey, let me in. Let me in. I have a Pikachu SIR I need to get. Let me in. Wow. That's so good. That's so good. I'm I'm now I'm happy with this box. That I did not expect that. I didn't expect a double banger. Double box in a case. And there's the Archer Ludon, base EX, as expected, right on time. Um, in terms of full arts and stuff, I mean, we still got an IR missing in here. Oh, could you imagine if it was Latios? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? There's no way I could wish that one to existence. Kecleon, okay, I, I wish that one from... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Still a need. It looks like it's trying to escape onto another card from the top down though, but you know. Still a need. Needed that one. So this box has been decent in adding to the set. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six out of whatever hits are there so far is pretty good actually. Can't complain about that at all. Especially when you're at the last box of the first case and after a pre release. Um, spree cannot complain about that it's a good it's a good ratio actually because right now we are at seven ten twelve hits with five packs remaining there's probably one more base terror one more base terror Coco. One more base Terra, and probably if anything else is in here. I probably wouldn't say another full art. Oh, wait, no, yeah, one more Ace spec. Where's the Ace spec at? Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh! Now the Scramble Squidge. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> there we go. Right on, right on target. Right on target. Hey, it's it's just knowing what's coming. Like it, it's it's just hyping yourself out because you're just basing on certainties, but then also sometimes the certainties are anomalies. It's always it's always funny when it comes up. Right, we got Rufflet, Bronzo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What is that? Oh yeah, the third terror. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we called that one as well. Pikachu box. Can we turn that Clement's Quick Wit into a Pikachu SIR as well? That'd be sweet. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Because if that's the case, then I would have all the Pikachus. Because I think we pulled the full art Pikachu in the other one. Yeah, we pulled the full art Pikachu in the PR boxes. So I'm only missing one Pikachu right now. Unfortunately, it's the big Pikachu. <laughs> the biggest Pikachu. Ah, two packets to go. Are we going to get some last pack magic out of these? You know what? Let's, let's do it. Because right now we've got... 3, 6, 7, 10, 13, 14 hits. So, we're already on the high end. I feel like there's probably one more hit in here. Purely because double banger boxes usually end up on 15. So, let's have a look-see. Maybe an extra IR. Maybe a Latio. <laughs> okay, nah. Last pack magic for this case. Finishing off the mystical magic box. This was a good box. Oops, almost did the four. Almost did the four. We want a little bit of uh want a little bit of excitement here. Come on. Marrow, Relo, Graph Locked, Dana, Mousehole, Meowstic, Corbell, Terrapega, Volcarona. Oh, is it something? It's something. It's something. Drayton! I called it! It'd be nice if I got Drayton! Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Called it! Called it! Called it! 
Call the 15 hits too. Jeez. See, it's almost like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, let's go on a quick review, seeing it's the last box in the case, and you know, at the end of the day, very decent case, I would say. Um, it really shaped up in the last two boxes, for sure. So we got Drayton, Pikachu, Scramble Switch, Kecleon, Archiludon, the big Goldie Boy Pikachu, Hydreigon, Palisand, Miracle Headset, Scovelane, Vibrava, Sylveon, Clement's Quick Wit for the Alt Art, Black Hirium, and Flapple. So, in terms of the case, that was a good tie off from the Mystical Boys. I loved it. it was, <laughs> can't, I can't complain. That was a very good case. Um, I, cause you know, I'm mentally defunking myself cause I keep thinking of that Twilight Masquerade case and it's just like, it haunts me to this day. But that case was great because we got Clement's Wit, we got Gold Pikachu, we got Leisure's Appeal, Gravity Mountain, and the Archer Ludon SIR, which means we got five SIR slash secret hits in a case where the average is around four. Cannot complain. <laughs> Cannot complain. Done pretty good. But now the next part is the hard part and I hope there's like a trade day or something around the corner somewhere because it's going to make it pretty hard to actually go out and pick up all these extra cards and packs and everything. But we do have quite a bit of stuff coming out soon that does have Surging Sparks packs inside. I don't know if the Terrapagos UPC has Surging Sparks. I'd imagine it would. I'd imagine it... Hmm. Maybe that's why I got delayed. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone open one yet. If it's got Surging Sparks in it, it makes sense why I was delayed. But I don't think it does. But like, extra extra product that's coming out that has Surging Sparks in it is like... Maybe the Greninja one? And... There's like a Blood Moon Ursa one, and a... Something. There's like, you know those EX boxes? Yeah, they're coming out soon. They have Surging Sparks in there, so maybe we get lucky in those, but I'm not holding my breath. Uh, but yeah, really, from now until whenever, it's the countdown for Prismatic Evolutions, and there's going to be a lot of content coming your way, and a lot of numbers going down in my bank account when that happens, so... <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Possibly hitting up Jen for another couple boxes because my fingers are still itchy. You guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one.